Hi YouTube, this is uh, casting uh, flywheel number three. I've included a gate. Uh, was a recommendation from uh, David Mintier and a couple other viewers. So take a close look at this picture and see the gate and the vents. Hey guys, this is uh, casting uh, flywheel number three. I got some uh, advice about creating a gate. So I'm gonna put some pictures in. We got the gate and gonna flow over and I got two vents here. Um, we got the crucible loaded up, temperature's ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and skim off the crap and and uh, put some uh, borax in there for flux and we're gonna pour. Well, that looks really clean. Okay, some borax. Okay, here we go. Every time I feel a little bit better doing this. Turn it around. Okay, and here we go. I'm going to clean out the crucible here. Thank you. Well, on the first uh, whole vent, I seen uh, brass coming up. That's, uh, that's good. Uh, the second one, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. But uh, we're going to let this cool down for a few minutes. And... Uh, We'll be right back and show you the result. Just wanted to show you another shot of the ingot here. It's glowing orange right there. You can kind of see that. And uh, the emergency bucket came in handy this time. So, all right, uh, just a little bit and we'll go ahead and take this guy apart. Okay guys, so uh, this is uh, the evolution here of a cast. This is our number three. Um, and uh, let me grab a pointer here. Um, I noticed most of the pittings are right here. This is uh, advice. Uh, uh, Dave uh, Matier and a couple other people made some suggestions to, uh, that I should have the sprue and a gate. And I did read online. I went and read on Wikipedia, uh, and lots of stuff. Just I wasn't, didn't even think about like uh, the way that the metal flows as it cools, and and a lot of science to this. Um, but anyway, the pitting is right here, mainly where the sprue's at, and we have a little bit of pitting here. I'm thinking that this pitting may be the sand. I, you know, I'm not really sure, um, but uh, if you look at the detail, detail on the spokes here, and I got a little pit there, and but you can see that there's a lot more detail here. This is really, really rough, 
and then this you know this this spoke here has got pitting but you take a look at this one and it's nearly perfect and this one's got well, just a few little defects on it maybe a little defect there um, so this one's going to come out really nice it, I, I'm going to say that each pour is getting better thank you for the advice let's here go ahead and take a look at the back um, so we knocked a little bit out of the mold then you'll see you've seen that in the picture and uh, but it's still kind of sucked back in and sank again if we look at the pitting uh, it seems mainly where the where the uh, sprue came down and where the gate is I have the gate really close um, and also um, what I one comment is is that um, the sprue may, they, uh, some people make it lower than the gate and I think the benefit is that is if there's still any um, uh, dross in there, it, it, it'll have a chance to go straight down too. So I think the next one, I'm gonna use the same method, but I'll make the sprue quite a bit longer, you know, at least an inch or so longer, and I'll have it farther away from the flywheel uh, and, and then so that it can fill up and go across. And then over here, just take a good look here. Uh, the vent gates here and this these came out beautifully um, overall I'm really happy with that uh, I will show you this I'll show you this after we clean it up in another video thanks for watching okay guys this is the third flywheel that my son has worked on he actually have done a lot of polishing to make it really really shiny um, we lost a little material in making it shiny which is okay is still gorgeous, but we're going to serialize it now as number three. How's that look? Looks really good. Okay, that's the third one. Guns, yeah. You. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching, and here's another photo of the uh, mold before casting. Uh, if you like this uh, video content, please subscribe to my channel, and thank you all very much for watching. Have a nice evening.